The city of Grenoble in southeastern France is home to a wealth of culinary delights. The best place to sample them is at the covered market in Saint Clair. This is where you can get French meatballs known as caillette. Right next door, there's a restaurant, Mémé Paulette, where traditional specialties are served up with creative flair. Toasted bread with caillette or cheese and fruit is especially popular with younger guests. In addition to hearty lunches, the house specialties also include homemade desserts. I'm a big fan of desserts, so I really enjoy making them. My parents had a small patisserie, and there were so many delicious treats. And to be typically French, you can make the tart savory as well. We sell them here, but I prefer them sweet. Emeline uses seasonal specialties like Grenoble walnuts to make the treats. They are strictly labeled according to their origin and type and harvested locally. Our Grenoble walnuts taste quite sweet, with a slightly bitter note. It's this combination that produces their special flavor. They're great in salads and cooked dishes, especially baked goods. But above all, in the nut tart, they taste fantastic in that. You only need a few simple ingredients to make tart au noir, Blend evenly 500 grams of flour with 250 grams of cold butter until it's crumbly. Add 250 grams of sugar and two eggs. Then knead the dough for at least five minutes. As soon as you finish kneading, roll it out with your hand like this. It's called frisé in French. That means you're finished kneading and the dough is just right. Allow the dough to rest in the fridge for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, grind up 150 grams of Grenoble walnuts, mix them with 150 grams of powdered sugar for the filling. Add the butter, but pay close attention to its consistency. The butter is key. It has to be smooth, but not liquid, but not too hard either. It needs to blend well. If you want, you could put the butter in a microwave for half a minute. The consistency should be the same as pommade. Now the eggs are added to the filling, and everything is mixed until it's creamy. Roll out the short crust and press it into the traditional French tart form. It should be about half a centimeter thick. Then add the filling. Finish it off by placing six thinly sliced pears on top. But you can also substitute other fruit according to season. Bake the tart for 40 minutes in an oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius. For many of the young patrons, the tarte au noir at Chez Mémé Paulette is ideal winter comfort food. I think our young guests are a bit tired of modern restaurants, where the atmosphere is a bit chillier and more formal. Here they can come when they want and wear what they want, and I think that's part of our success. Chez Mémé Paulette translates roughly as at Granny Paulette's. Good recipes may be old-fashioned, but they never go out of style.